eating my husband. I'm not wanting to get rid of him and it's progressed into eating him. You are shitting your husband out. Your husband is poo. Meet the woman addicted to eating her husband's ashes. My name is Casey, I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee and I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. Okay, is that it? Is that? I take my husband everywhere. Damn, he's Negro. Shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that, that's neat. To the movies. I'll this is eat. sad. Anywhere I go, he goes. It's kind of sad to be honest. Night, baby, I love you. I think that's the Morse number one. Sleeping with the urn, I'm not mad at it. Since she lives by herself, I could, I mean, I could see, that's not that bad. When I go grocery shopping, I buy the foods that he likes. When I cook, I cook what he likes. Okay. I don't eat it, but I cook for him. Oh, this is a if whole nother level TV, of delusion. He's there with me. You wanna watch this? If somebody <laughs> says, hey, is that a <laughs> It's like she has an imaginary friend. No, that's crazy. That's just my husband. Some people laugh, they think I'm playing, but it, I mean, it's serious, it's my husband. Casey and Sean were married in 2009 after dating for 10 months. Everything I had ever wanted in a man Only was 10 right months? in front of me. Okay. And it felt so great. They fell in love and was soulmates from day one. The two and a half years that they were together, I think, was the only time Casey was truly, truly happy. Damn. Their marriage was picture perfect. If that was the case, that means you were a fucked up mom. Cause why was she never happy when, when she was at home? Why was she only truly happy with him? You garbage? Until Sean suffered a severe asthma attack two months ago. Asthma? The doctor came in and the look on his face was telltale. Was it's only day, been two months too. You know? The world stopped turning. If it's, I can actually, I think I can excuse it with it only being two months to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I think I could probably excuse it. Though Casey initially found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side, her addiction has recently evolved. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. And I didn't want to wipe wipe them off because that's my husband. I don't want to wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my finger. I can't excuse that. I can't excuse that. I can't excuse that. I can't excuse that. I can't excuse. Oh, okay. And here I am today, almost two months later, and I can't stop. Ah! Ah! I'm eating my husband. On the daily, she is fingering her husband and eating him. She eat it like it's some. Frosted Flakes! My finger. And I don't just dip it in. I swirl around to kind of feel and get it caked on there good. And then I just eat it. No! No! Why do you do that? How do you get addicted to... Oh, I want to throw up. I want to throw up. He must got good dick. <laughs> It tastes like rotten eggs, sand, and sandpaper. But I've grown to love that taste. Nigga, what, bro? She's on the beach talking about some, uh, uh, yes, uh. Not wanting to get rid of him, and it's progressed into eating him. I've lost 42 pounds since my husband passed away. You lost weight? Basically, the only thing I'm eating are his ashes. Nigga, what? You lost weight? What did you look like beforehand? You are shitting your husband out. Your husband is poo. Casey eats her husband's ashes five to six times a day. When I open up the urn, I get a sense of happiness. It's like an adrenaline rush for me. And the more I eat, the more excited I get until I realize there's not a lot left. Then. Nigga, please go to therapy, bro. In fact, you don't need you need to get those urns taken away from you. Imagine you're his mother and you're like, oh, where's my son's ashes? And she presents her with an empty box. She's like, oops, sorry, I ate it. <laughs> you ate my son? A few minutes later, I feel horrible because I did it. You when should? I got Sean. 
back from the crematory. He weighed six pounds. He is closer to five pounds now, so I have consumed right at a pound. You've probably ate his anus by now. I want you to pay for me right now. That's hard. That's crazy. I'm eating my husband. You are. Very few people know that Casey is eating her husband's ashes. Now is a lot she more than a few people. How many? Bare minimum 6.4 million? Lee shared this secret with her mother. When Casey actually told me that she was eating Sean's ashes, it was like I couldn't speak. I really couldn't do anything. I mean, it's like I was just frozen there. You should have called her a crazy bitch. It makes me feel embarrassed you should be ashamed you should be with myself i'm those are all valid valid feelings oh keep naming feeling keep naming you feel despicable you feel idiotic you feel you feel absolutely blasphemous blasphemous it makes you want to commit used crazy it's a big one that pops into my head yeah you are Gotta crazy be really sick person to eat someone's ashes you are i'm glad you're somewhat self-aware It's panicking me and it's uh, worrying me that she's losing reality even more. And I need to do what I need to help her get past that. Get rid of the ashes. The pound is already gone. It's hard. And that's one reason I need help. Because I'm going to run out soon. And <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to hold it together any better than I'm doing now. <laughs> my, 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 my husband's ashes are going to run out. I need someone to help me before I eat them. Oh no. What am I going to do when I go to bed at night? And there's just an urn there and there's nothing in it but you're not going to eat it quit her addiction to eating her husband's ashes i can't keep seeing this can her family stop her before it's too late i just want her to stop eating the ashes that's my one and only hope for my daughter i have to stop eating him i've lost him once this time it'll be my fault <laughs> I'm lose him again and i don't want to do that and it's going to get to that point really soon if i don't get help is she nutting to eating her husband? And look at her, look at her. Get oh, oh, Sean. She wants to reveal the truth to her cousin, Stephanie. Why? And ask for help. Why? You should go- I'm on... feeling anxious a little bit. Uh... You should only go to your fucking therapist for this. I'm nervous. I don't want to lose the trust that we have. I'm ready to tell her and I'm ready to get it out. Uh, I have something to tell you, Stephanie. Oh no. I don't want you to freak out, and I don't want you to get mad, and I really don't want you to push me away and not talk Stephanie, to me Stephanie, do all those things. You know, I carry around Sean everywhere. Yes, um, Stephanie, do all that. I've been eating his ashes. <laughs> wow. Like. He's like, yo, you look like it. <laughs> I, see, I see it in your chin. <laughs> he'll always be a part of me mm -hmm. because... Right. I'm eating him, you know? Yeah, but I don't know what to think about that. I mean, it is a kind kind of a little too much, maybe. A little? I don't quite understand why Casey would feel as He's far as eating He's not going to be a part of you. Closer to him. You're going to pull him out. That part. I don't understand why she would want to keep eating it. So like when you're eating the ashes, you look like, like a frog. what's going through your mind at that moment? It comforts me and then I do it and then it makes me sad because I'm slowly losing my husband again. She's like um, masturbation. Like you're doing it, it comforts you and you nut, you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did this. And I'm so scared that I'm pretty close to the edge right now. And if I eat him, like all of him, it may push you over. It may push me over. Right. Shit, you know, if you get pushed over, you but won't be able to get up. It. Where's my comfort going to be? <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to be, oh, there's a little crazy lady that ate her husband. But Nigga, it's, it's too late. You know, when we first started, he was six pounds. And right. Now he's almost five pounds. Right. You know, and in another six months, not even six months, you know, maybe three or four months mm -hmm. from now, at the rate I'm going, he'll be gone. Right. Who am I going to hold at night? Mm -hmm. Who am I going to take with me everywhere? Yeah. 
What am I gonna do to comfort myself then? A nigga like me, I'm not listening to the rest of what she's saying. I'm calling 911. I say I have a chaotic, a chaotic bastard in front of me. She needs help. And then I'm running the other way. <laughs> like, I'm not partaking in the conversation anymore.